I had my largest electric bill ever since moving into this house 14 years ago. And I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, well, of course you did. You have arcade games. They pull a ton of power. And actually, I get a lot of comments about that saying, this is an awesome room you have there. I'd love to have that at my house, but I can't imagine the electric bill. And honestly, I've never really seen a big difference that I thought were caused by the arcades. But this last month, which would be July 2023, I used 1,856 kilowatt hours that month. That seems like a lot to me because in June, just the month before it, I only used 1,560 megawatt hours. Now my electric bill is not crazy. I only have my wife and I here. We're not really sucking down a lot of power with kids. It's just us two and a cat. So I kind of started to think, what would have caused such a big jump? And is it really my arcade cabinets? So I'm gonna explore that in this video. I hope you guys will find it interesting. So like I said, I used 1,856 megawatt hours in July. It is summer here. I am in Texas and we are having a not quite record-breaking summer, but last year, 2022, was the hottest summer on record, and this year is just right behind it. And of course, that is gonna to equate to more electric uses because of air conditioning. Still, I wanted to set out and find out how much the games are actually using, so I sat down in here, went through some old videos of mine, like one where I actually went through a lot of these games, plugged them into a meter thing, and tried to find out how much power each one is using. Now keep in mind I'm estimating because it fluctuates. It depends on what the CRT is showing. If it's showing a white screen, it pulls a lot more power because it's needing to generate a lot more light and energy and all that stuff. The racing cabinets, if they're using the force feedback at the time and you're playing a game, you're gonna use more power at that time. But to make things a little more simple, I just kind of estimated, I, I picked a median point for most of the games. And by my calculations, these games should only be using, when just the games are on in here, even the arcade one-ups, 1,440 watts. And that's really not that bad when you think about it, especially when you consider most people don't know how much power you know appliances use in their house. And, and that's also, the 1,440 watts does not include the other stuff in here, which when I come out here to play games, I usually have uh, both TVs going, two 50-inch TVs. I have an Xbox going for my Rock Band setup. I have my nerdy rock band lights here and rock band lights up there. So by my math on adding all that up, that's an additional 455 watts. And then we come to the real power or what I thought was the real power hungry thing in the room, which is this air conditioner. This is a Mitsubishi one ton, 12,000 BTU mini split unit. It's actually really efficient. I don't uh, really blame it for charging me a lot. In fact, I've been paying attention since we got it installed and I haven't noticed much of a change in our daily usage. We have smart meters on the outside of the house so they can give me a lot of data, but they can also charge me more when grid conditions are stressed. And I gotta tell you, we've been through a summer of stressed grid conditions. I think Texas has been breaking electric usage records all summer long. But to try and figure out how much power it's using, I had to go to Google and I had to do a little bit of rough estimating again. As you can see right now, both of these lights are on, and that means that it is trying to reach the set temperature of 74 degrees. When I'm in here playing all these games, and all these games are releasing heat into the room, which and the TVs release a lot of heat, they are going to make this unit run harder, obviously. By my calculations or estimations from Google and the information about this unit, it's probably pulling about 1200 watts when I'm in here playing games. So I'm in here with all the games going, the air conditioning's running, the TVs are on, the Xbox is running, all that stuff's on, and it comes out to about 3095 watts, but for the sake of making things easier, I actually rounded down to 3000 watts, just because it sounds easier for people to digest and keep track of. Now 1000 watts is one kilowatt. And if you're running 1,000 watts for one hour, that is 1,000, or that is one kilowatt hour, or per hour. So in addition to that information, I do have smart plugs on these machines, so I can turn them all individually on or off, and they keep track of runtime. And on average, I've been watching this through the months since I've moved into the shed gate here, which by the way, if you don't know what this building is, it is a shed in my backyard that we built last year that has been finished out and air conditioned, obviously and I have arcade games in it. It's my backyard arcade. I'm only ever out here on average with the games on for about 20 hours a month. I know that doesn't sound like much. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, you have all that in your backyard and you're only out there 20 hours a month. Well, life's busy and really not doing it every single day makes you appreciate it more. If you add up just the arcade cabinets, which is 1440 watts running, and if I do that for 20 hours a month, that is 29 kilowatt hours per month 
uh, being used just dedicated to the arcade cabinets. So that kind of leaves the question then, what is using the most electricity at my house? Well, I'm gonna take you guys outside and show you what I believe is by far the biggest electric consumer of my house. All right, coming down the shed Kate stairs here. I've got to get a proper path poured one of these days, but let's move over here. Here it is. This is what's using the most electricity by far from what I can tell. This is a two and a half ton air conditioner. It's my main unit for the house. And uh, as you can see, I even tried to put a little shade around it to try and cool it when the sun sets back here. And it also has an app on the thermostat, which will tell me how much it runs. It runs about 12 to 13 hours per day in this ridiculous heat that we're having which is actually pretty good. It, it keeps up really well with how hot it is, and uh, we're really happy with it, but I think by far this is what's sucking the most electricity at my house. So we have the big air conditioning unit, which uses a ton of electricity, and uh, that, that probably is my number one usage by far, I believe. But I really don't think a lot of people realize how much power heating and cooling things in their house costs. Now, the second biggest user of electricity in my house is probably my dryer. Now, it only runs three times a week for about you know a couple hours per week, I guess. But it is a huge noticeable spike on my electric app when I check the daily usage. In addition to that, when you think about it, the dryer also lets off heat, which heats up the house, which makes the air conditioning run more. So it's just, those two are probably the biggest users. Well, I really don't believe my Shedcade is anywhere near the main electric pole of the house, especially since I don't use it all the time. So all this said, it still doesn't answer what's using the extra 300 kilowatt hours per month. And then I started to really think, like sit here and be like, what has changed? Is it possible it's just been hotter than last month? And I was thinking, no, I don't think that's, that's really it by looking at all the other stuff. And it's not like I've spent more time in the sheds. I realized it after a few minutes of just sitting and just staring and thinking. I know what's causing it and I'm gonna peek back out of the shed to show you real quick. And there we have it, that's it. I don't really like having a window unit and normally we don't really need one, but the our bedroom, this is our master bedroom up here, it is very large. Well, Lady Cag found this at Costco in sometime in mid-June and we installed it and that is what I believe is taking the extra power because we run it from about 11 at night till about you know, 7.30, 8 in the morning and we keep it at 68 degrees. And I don't really care that it's costing me more money because I can actually sleep at night which is what was really becoming a problem for me. I cannot sleep when it's hot out. I guess the mystery has been solved. It's that. This probably wasn't the outcome of the video you were hoping for. I'm sure a lot of you guys were like, no, it's gotta be the, the video games. You're just gonna have to realize that's what it is, but it really isn't. They don't use that much power, but if I, oh, I'm sorry, they do use a lot of power, but if I was running them for many hours a day, that's when they would become a problem. And that actually got me thinking. And hopefully you've made it this far in the video because I found this to be pretty interesting. I thought about Side Arcade in Houston, a, a great arcade. They have about 280 arcade cabinets. They're open for about 14 hours a day on average. So 190 watts times 280 arcade cabinets is 53,200 watts. So at any given point, that place is pulling roughly just for games, mind you, not air conditioning, which could easily be another 50,000 watts for all I know. Not air conditioning, just for the games, is 53,000 watts per hour. And if they're open for an average of 14 hours per day, that means they're using roughly, just to power games, 744 kilowatt hours per day. Now that's an electric bill I'd be a little afraid of. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. My arm is actually tired from holding up this gimbal the whole time. I've actually recorded this video three different times. I was screwing up and saying the wrong things before I fixed it all and I had to re-record it all. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more arcade content and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Are you surprised to hear how much power the shed's actually using? Um, maybe this changes your mind. Maybe you'll actually go buy a real arcade now. If it does, or just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of all that below. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you on the next video.